<laughs> awesome. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Malia. Hi. Uh, hi. Thank you, everyone, for joining the roundtable today. Um, just as a reminder, please use the raise hand function when you have a question. Um, we're going to start it off with one question each, and then we'll open it up again if we have more time. Um, and we uh, we will get started unless anyone has any questions. Um, okay, great. We are going to start with Kristen from Pop Culture Planet. Hi, I'm Kristen Maldonado from Pop Culture Planet. It's great to meet you guys. Hi, um, I feel like we've been following you guys' careers for so long now. We're obsessed. Um, and I realize this is kind of both of your first like leading, leading films. Um, and so mm -hmm. I was wondering like what that feels like to kind of, you know, get to that point and um, what that was like on the set and bringing these characters to life um, in these like, you know, really huge roles. We were divas on set all the time. Yeah, it really got to our this heads. One. Um, uh, super diva. Yeah, no, it was so much fun. I mean, being able to kind of, I don't know, just being the. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, how do I say this? That's so insane. insane. Be the faces of this film. No. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's yeah. it's truly such a a big moment I feel like and I know I'm excited about it because like, yeah it's like it's not really it's not really happened yet before so no, this yeah, is a milestone hard. yeah it's still hard to like comprehend comprehend <laughs> that it's happening um I feel like I haven't had that moment of like whoa it's real until it's like face girl yeah we're looking Literally at a poster until right, right now. now. Yeah, or, or like seeing the billboards going up around the city and yeah. having people in Philadelphia, New York, and all these different places sending me photos of like, look at your billboard. It's all over the city. So crazy. That's so insane. And you're right. It is my first role in a in leading role in a film. So mm -hmm. it's definitely a huge milestone for me. And um, it's weird because it totally feels like the beginning in a lot of ways, but also yeah. like we've both been doing this for so long. So in yeah, a way it is right? like, huh, it does feel like I've you know, been doing this forever. Like, it feels like, like everything's coming into fruition and it all happens totally. in alignment. It feels so. like everything was prepping us for this moment. Yeah. This big moment. I love that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can move on to Rama from Rama Screen. Hello, congratulations on the movie. Um, Brandy and Rita Ora are two wonderful singers. They are some of the most iconic names in pop music. What was it like working with them on the set? More importantly, what was it like singing with them? Did they give any vocal ideas and, and advice? Oh my gosh. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, not for me, like in particular. Yeah, not but for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but I, we have to talk about the moment. <gasps> oh my gosh. Where they were like singing <laughs> Okay, we so Rita has this one moment in the film where she sings the world, the world. <laughs> oh, after lunch, the guys. Word, yeah, sorry. She sings the word war, and she throws the cards up in the air. And Brandy, after every take, went, you can do better. And she, <laughs> she just kept giving her notes, but Rita took them every single time. Yeah. And well, because it was Brandy's idea to like yeah. have her sing that instead of just saying, war she yeah like, whoa yeah that's a crazy run so <laughs> it was really beautiful to, to witness them, like, that moment yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you it was a lot of fun great thank you um now we can take judy with the hollywood times hello girls i wanted to say happy 19th birthday to kylie Aww. thank you oh i love that you remembered <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how did you girls prepare for your roles, the characters that you played? Oh, I feel like, well, I, I made a playlist. I loved I loved hyping that music up before I went and did my <laughs> sword writing, you know? Just getting that blue wig on. Yeah. No, but honestly, I feel like getting the blue wig and the costume on was the perfect kind of jump start into getting into your character. There's mm -hmm. no way that you can't feel like you're in her when you're literally dressed up completely different than you. Like, I didn't even recognize myself sometimes when I looked at like, them. Ah! <laughs> no, it was a jump scare. I was like, what is she doing there? Um, but no, I think that was the perfect way. You know, of course, like, watching the original Descendants movies, watching brandy cinderella again mm. just refreshing my brain on how to get into it it was just 
it was so much fun to be able to be a part of this and prep for it in such a thorough way. Yeah, I think similarly, like, mm -hmm. there's no way to not feel like the character when you have that wig on, the outfit. It's so intricate, every part yeah. of Red's, Red's look. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's cool because it, I think I'm such a visual person that, like, seeing myself as Red immediately made me, like, not feel, feel like myself. So. Yeah. I just had no no other choice but to just become her, transform, transcend <laughs> everything. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Elias with Pop Culture Unplugged, we can go to you now. Congrats on the film. Thank you. Thank one you of my so favorite, much. One of my time travel. <laughs> somebody mute me. Somebody muted me. I'm sorry, yeah, you're cutting I'm out sorry, of it. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Let me start all over again. Uh, one of my favorite things about the film is uh, time travel. How would you say, you know, it takes a significant uh, role in this movie. How do you, how would, how do you prepare to play characters that go through time travel? Mm. I mean, I feel like it's kind of hard to prepare for something like that's so. I, I feel like that's what comes. Yeah. Like you can't prepare. And <laughs> our characters weren't ready. Our characters ready. weren't prepared. Yeah. Um, but I think that was the exciting thing. Like it's not every day that you get to do a film that can involve so many different things. Time travel. It's a musical on top of that. And then there's so many stunts. It's like an action film. I feel yeah. like it's a bit of everything that we kind of got to dip into. Um, but time travel was definitely one of the most fun parts it was just yeah. kind of tricky thinking of like the little continuity aspects because mm -hmm. even like a little easter egg my belt on my um wardrobe changes color when we go back yeah in time. we have a couple of things that change when we go back and then mm -hmm. once we go back forward again in time it changes back to its original state so, so. hopefully the continuity all looks good yeah uh, you guys cause... keep us in check <laughs> keep us in check look out for that all right thank you Great. Um, Pat with Pop Culture with Pat. Pat from Pop Culture with Pat, Kylie and Malia, congratulations on the film and happy birthday, Kylie. Uh, just to, to kind of start things off, uh, as far as what did when did you guys feel like that you truly connected with your characters for the first time? Was it reading the script? Was it putting on the costume? Or was it even shooting a specific scene? And what specifically about your uh, characters that you connected with? Mm, I feel like for me it was honestly doing the first scene with you, seeing the contrast mm -hmm. between how I played my character and the way you played yours. I think um, it really just, we pick up where each other lacks and I feel like with that we were so much more fully ourselves in an authentic way because we're so opposites that it just makes a whole. Um, so yeah, I feel like doing that first scene with totally. you was really... It really was like a puzzle piece yeah, that I right? think all just clicked. Like the minute that we got on set together, it yeah. felt like, okay, I see how you're playing it and I, I'm even more in, set in my character yeah. after seeing and having you to play off of, I think mm -hmm. made it that much more fun. And um, it is that like yin yang between us, which yeah. is, and with such a, a great dynamic. castmate to our work with an actor, with a great actor, it's easy, you know? Oh, stop. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. <laughs> Here's your 50 Thank bucks, you. Malia. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can move on to Christiane from Sci-Fi Vision. Hi, I'm Christiane with Sci-Fi Vision. Um, my question for you too is, uh, Malia, Kylie and Malia, um, if you could share any of your memorable or favorite part of filming The Descend Descendants, The Rise of Red. Wow. That's I have... So <laughs> no, go for it. I was going to say, I have so many fun memories from filming Fight of Our Lives. Oh my gosh, that yeah. That one in particular, I when I think back to like the funniest moments, I always think of us Fight of Our that. Lives. It's because we just, we actually <laughs> like each other. So it's hard to like fight to the death for my, that type of thing. I'm going to expose Malia for a second, but I thought <laughs> that this is the best thing ever. And it's so like, ugh, such a reflection of you and your professionalism. But there's like a part where we were doing our like dual like battle in mm -hmm. like the first verse of fight of our lives and i remember we were so in it and i don't know what happened but malia like tripped 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, I fell straight on my face. I forgot about this. Literally. In the middle of her verse, and she was like so in it, like singing it towards me, and then just like trips on something. But this girl keeps singing. This girl keeps singing from the ground. She's still in full on. I need you to be off screen giving a little something for her, you know? <laughs> I looked crazy. I was Literally. on the ground with my sword, like, sticking out. I was like, I look dead. I got too much to take. To go. <laughs> like, you are not going to stop. She's a professional. Nobody even noticed either on set. Like, are we going to just keep yeah, going? Yeah, because they kept like, going. She just fell. I was like, it's okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> the limp. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we have time for about two more quick questions. So um, I can go now to Rama from Rama's screen. Yeah, this is Rama from Rama Screen. Um, ladies, you know, next year will be 10 years uh, since the first Descendants movie. Uh, why do you think, the, what is it the, about the popularity of this Descendants franchise that has lasted this long? Why, why do you think that is? And what would you say to the fans of the original to invite them to check out this spinoff as well? That's insane. 10 years yeah, is crazy. Yeah, wait a second. Let's like talk about that. To be That's making a like... sequel and to have this much hype around something that came out 10 years ago like that's amazing and that's so telling of just the the following and the fandom of this franchise it's so special and um i think it's just the concept is so brilliant and yes. so timeless i think descendants could have been made in any time period and it would have worked because Seriously? of yeah. the the concept it's so good descendants of fairy tale characters that we know and love like yeah. it's brilliant uh -huh. and Disney, i feel like they knew what they were doing, they knew what they were doing seriously and i feel like if you're a fan of the old descendants then you're gonna be a fan of this new oh earring came down um but <laughs> if you're a fan of the old descendants you're gonna be a fan of the new one because everything that you love from the old one is everything that you're gonna love from this newer for installation of it it truly is Brilliant. timeless thank you period thank you and we're gonna move on to our last question um pat with pop culture with pat pat from pop culture with pat for both you guys, what other characters from the Descendants universe would you love for your characters to meet, and how do you see that interaction going with them? Hmm. Mm. I don't know, Malia. Maybe like. Oh, oh I know what you're gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. We want to see Pinocchio come to action. <laughs> but also, you know what I was thinking of? What? Tinkerbell. <gasps> I want to see Tinkerbell. I would in this. love to see Tinkerbell. She'd be just so cutie patootie. She'd be so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, the little mermaid, come to Descendants. <laughs> Honestly, everyone. I love that. Him and Red would get along very They well. totally would. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much, and congratulations again on the film. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.